Aquarius, welcome. Okay, let's start with, okay, this is October, your October 2023 reading. I don't know what just happened. I just sort of like went somewhere else and came back. <laughs> okay, so this is your October 2023 love reading. Okay, who is pulling on? Someone's pulling on someone where they keep on drifting off and thinking about someone out of the blue is like you're doing something that's what i just got there so that's why that came in like that it's like whoa i'm all set ready to do this reading and then someone's pulling me into another direction it's like i'm in la la land or something i feel really funny now <laughs> okay let's see what happens so what is currently going on with you besides being spaced out? okay what is going on with aquarius let's see we have it oh we have the king of cups so is that it you have a king of cups in your life right now are you currently in a relationship with a King of Cups? And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Mm, you're reevaluating this connection, maybe? I don't know. This this connection feels really charming. And then we have the Hermit. Okay. So, let's get something for the King of Cups here. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Love. There's love here. Okay, that's it. So, whoever I'm tapping into, they're totally in love with this King of Cups. I don't know. Are you with this person? Some of you might be. Hmm. And then with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like you're you're trying to figure out what to do with this connection here. Why is that? Why am I getting that? Okay, let's see. Let's put the King of Cups here so I don't forget. And so let me feel some more about this card here. Yeah, you, you're trying to nurture a connection. Either some of you are trying to get this person's attention. Or you're in, some of you are already in this connection with this person and you're totally gaga goo goo over them. Male or female does not matter. Now here we have the hermit. Um, okay, some of you, you could be in school and this person's totally into their, their study in here. Or um, sort of like, sort of like focused on something, learning something or understanding something. And um, wow, this feels like this person is really really into something here almost feels like for some of you you can't actually can't get this person's attention they're like you are totally gaga over them and they're like in their own thing they might be just super smart or something and just <laughs> like to be in the book all the time and they're not even noticing you i mean this is someone that you could <laughs> go in front of um buck naked and they're like in their book <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh that's not funny but it's my guys are funny when they show me pictures stuff. <laughs> okay let's see let's let's get into this um king of cups we have two daggers hmm so with the two daggers here there's like a indecision a blindness see that's what i mean i feel like this person's like in their own world almost like you know when they have those um the horses that had the blind like the what those blockers on so they couldn't get distracted this person like has some kind of blockers or distractors or or something here very strange but like there's also could be maybe two paths in front of you that you're trying to decide on you know, it feels like more like this is this person's energy. Yeah, someone feels like they're blinding themselves to this connection. Okay. What about the Seven of Pentacles? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? The Rigid. Hmm. So, this is the emperor energy. Wow. When I, I'm looking at this card, I feel like someone's very stiff. Okay, so it's a, someone's unwavering. Um, yeah, someone is like, I don't know, just very rigid, very... Focus on something else. I, I don't know. I'm sorry, guys, but that's what I'm getting for someone here. I don't know if that's going to make sense to you or not. Let me just put these so I can actually see what's going on here. 
but it could be an Aries that you're dealing with for some of you. It just feels, um, hmm. okay, let me get another card because all I'm getting is that's what I'm seeing. I can't read anymore. It's like this person won't let me read them. <laughs> It's like, if, it, if you feel like that, that person, you don't can't really get a read on them, it's like, wow. Okay, the hermit, they're, they're sort of like closed off, but you're very attracted to them. It feels like, why am I so compelled to this person when they're like, always have their head in the book, always have, or always focus on whatever they're doing there. Okay, the hermit, let's get into this hermit more. We have the four of cups. Yeah, you're not really sure here. What to do here? Can you speak to this person? It feels um you're trying to figure out if you should or not. Should you should you talk to them? Should you open up to them? You're contemplating here. And you know, it also feels like you have other choices, you have other options, but why are you focused on this person when they're like totally into their own thing? Now that's for, you know, whatever. Let's see about anybody that, okay, if you want to deal with a past person, like for those of you don't want to deal with past person, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to connect with those for those people that do. Let's check in about a past person. What's going on with a past person? If you're interested in a past person, let's see. We have here the Five of Cups. Yeah, this past person has a lot of regret and remorse. Okay. The Queen of Wands. They might see you as a Queen of Wands. You know, it's like, what did I do? I lost out on this connection here. Being very attracted to you. And we have here the Eight of Pentacles. This could be someone at work or this could be someone that wants to work with you. We have here... The moon. See, I love this card, this moon. This moon to me is like this person is feeling called to you. They can't they can't resist you. You're so, so alluring to them. Now the moon is Pisces energy, it's also hidden emotions. It's fear. You know, it's like uh, this person probably is so drawn to you because they're so um Attracted to you. Let me get up. Now this is uh, Queen of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A comb. Combing through something. Someone could also work with combs. Maybe in a hair business or something like that. But someone would be combing through stuff. Working through stuff. Wow. They're showing me go someone's going through papers. If that makes any sense. Someone's looking for something. Someone's trying to find a paper. Maybe they're trying to find a letter or something. They're trying to find something. Something feels misplaced. Okay, let's see about this Queen of Wands. But this card really gets me here. So we have here with this, the moon, this alluring energy here. This calm, like the, your, your energy just keeps on calling to this person. They try to forget you. They try not to think about you, but they can't. Okay, so let's clarify this. Why do we have, just try to move these down a little bit. Why do we have here the Five of Cups? There's a lot of regret, a lot of remorse of what they should have done, didn't do. Probably should have worked more with you on something. Let's see. We have here Haunting of Crystals. Okay, the Haunting is the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Queen of Pentacles, or they could also see you as a Queen of Pentacles here. <sighs> Yeah, with the haunting of crystals. There's some kind of financial game or something to do with the home and family. It could be difficult um, to find with this card here. But it seems like you do that. You, um, they seem like you have a handle on, I think they're focused on you. You have a handle on home, family, nurturing, caring. Okay, um, let me get a charm on the haunting of crystals. Oh, we got two. We have a dragon and we have an owl. Very wise here. There's wisdom. 
um, they want to talk to you. They, they want to open up to you, this person here. They see you as very wise. And I think, I'm getting this person always enjoyed the conversations that you had. And they couldn't talk to anybody else like the way they could talk to you. Of course, they're talking to an air sign. Very intelligent. So let's see. What about this Queen of Wands? What's going on with this Queen of Wands? Of course, you could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see. We have here the Eight of Crystals. Yeah, so I would say this person, again, this is like the Eight of Pentacles. There's like, I want to work on this with you. But will you do that? There's passion here. They feel like they're being driven by their passion for you. But would you want to work on this with them? I feel like this person is arguing with themselves, fighting with themselves in their head about whether or not you would be considered, you would consider working with them on something here. They might have some kind of opportunity that they might come towards you. You got the Eight of Crystals and the Eight of Pentacles. There's something, besides working with you, I think they, like working with you on this connection, they want to work with you. Okay. I don't know if you guys ever worked together before. It's first, it's, it feels like you haven't, but they want to. If that makes sense. Okay, we have here the hermit. Look at this, the hermit again. Yeah, so this person is in deep mm -hmm. contemplation here. They're really trying to work things out within themselves in order to come to you, I think. It's like they're they're um they're closing themselves off to others or to situations. They're trying to find an answer here to how they can make this work. But they know they have to come out of this hermit mode in order to approach you. You can't talk if they're in the hermit mode. Okay, let's see. We have here the world. Ending, new beginning, completion. Okay. Let's see what's coming in the future. This is also could mean fulfillment coming in here too for you guys. Okay. What is coming in in the future for your love life? What is happening in the future? Strength. Leo energy. You're gaining strength. Seven of Swords. Huh. I don't know about that card now. And the Star. Well, your hopes and wishes are coming true, but something's happening here with this Seven of Swords. I don't know about this here. We have the Page of Wands. Someone is going to contact you. Someone wants to reach out to you. Someone wants to talk to you. Seven of Swords. Sometimes the Seven of Swords is, um, someone could be holding back. But this is like trickery, deceit. I'm a little concerned about this card. It's making me uneasy. Almost feels like maybe, I don't, I don't get pulled that, but this person might be trying to hide something here. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we get on the strength card. We have it. Three of crystals. So with the three of crystals, um, this is always like working together. Look, someone's chipping away at something or it almost feels like someone's trying to chip away at something to gain the strength to do something here. I'm sorry, but I got interrupted. I had to pause it for a minute. So yes, yeah, so with the three of crystals here, 
with the strength card. Someone's getting the strength to work together with something. It's almost like if there's other people involved in something here, you need everyone to, to work together in order to make this work. It's like you're only strong, the strongest as the weakest link. Or this means that you have to put everything into something to make something work. Or someone else does. Okay. What about the Seven of Swords? Two bones. Okay. So the two of bones here. Hmm. This, um, this is planning something, but I'm really confused with this. <coughs> You're planning something, but there's something blocking you or doing something. I'm sorry, getting a little choked up now. The bones are the um, the wands in this. So um, so you're trying to plan something, trying to work something out here. But why is the seven of swords here? Trying to make a decision at a crossroads, trying to figure things out. Almost feels like you're trying to do something, but someone's trying to block you. See, you're trying to plan something. There's like some of these shadows. There's, um, wow. I don't know. Yeah, you're trying, you're definitely trying to plan something. There's something trying to block you, or I'm getting the word intercept something you're trying to accomplish here. But you do have the star, so it seems like you make it through. And this is your card, so no matter what someone tries to do, you're accomplishing something here. So we have here the Five of Crystals. Interesting. This you're I think you're coming from a lack to the star here. Because we have the star, so you're I think you're overcoming some kind of lack. Some kind of um may you feel like you don't have enough or you can't do something. There's something that's been I, I feel like you're fighting against the odds, but you're gonna win here. You have the star. Hopes and wishes, dreams coming true. I, I especially with the strength card here too, I think no matter what, you always seem to prevail here. That's what I'm feeling. You're prevailing in some way here. Hmm, let's see. Ten of daggers. Something might you might need to end something in order to to accomplish this. You might also need to cut someone out. It's almost feeling like, you know what? I'm getting the feeling that someone's been putting up with someone's bull for so long. And you say, you know, why do I keep on doing it? And all of a sudden you like it wakes up, you wake up and you say, I don't have to take this. Hmm. So you might be ending something here. Okay. Let's see. Um, I want to know. I actually want to know about a new person in your love life. Because that doesn't really, that feels more like work here. We have the Seven of Wands. Someone might want to fight for you here. And we have the Four of Wands wanting a commitment. And judgment. You're going to have to make a decision on this. Now, of course, this person wants to come back in. Um, it could be a new person for some of you, too. You got to just move this over a little bit. I feel like, you know, a lot of you guys, you're, you know, you're, you're hoping to have a good connection of... Um, in your love life, but it seems like you are also pulled in um, the direction of your finances, of your work. It's like it's taking up a lot of your time at this time. So I'm um, feeling that energy here. And we have here the Knight of Wands. You have someone that's very passionate for you. Um, then Don Juan, Don Juan, the, uh, the um, Aries Leo Sagittarius, but doesn't have to be anyone, but someone that has a lot of passion, a lot of desire for you. Okay, let's see. Why do we have the Seven of Wands here? Ace daggers. Okay. It seems like someone, I think, wants to speak to you. Wants to tell you the truth about something. 
Now this could be someone new or someone from the past. But someone wants to cut things out and come speak to you. And I think someone really wants to fight for a chance with you. Now, um... It's like there's clarity coming in for you. Someone wants to give you clarity. Wants to give you clarity on their feelings for you. Whether it's a new person or a past person. Okay. Let's see about this um, four of wands. Ten of daggers. Ooh. Did... Someone might have either ended a commitment with someone else to come towards you or you're ending a commitment with something that was a marriage or something that was, you know, pretty su sufficient here. Significant, I should say, sufficient. <laughs> I don't know why it's sufficient. I wanted to say significant. But maybe some, maybe that's what you felt like. It, was, it wasn't enough. It was um, sufficient and you want more. Okay, so, so that's what it was. Okay, but it was a, like probably something that was going to be long term. So here's the judgment. Someone coming back around. Are you deciding you need to make um, a decision on something? You need to decide on something here. We have here the Eight of Cups. Yes, when not to walk away. So some of you guys are probably in a connection now. And you are, or else someone that might want to come to you. Um, someone, there's definitely some kind of commitment here. So someone's deciding I, I need to walk away from this. This is not fulfilling is what I'm feeling here. So just leaving stuff behind. So d despite your best efforts to try and make something work or th or another person here feeling that way, they're saying, I, I have to make a judgment call. It's been very difficult. It might be losing a lot in order to do this. But something has, you got the Ten of Daggers, you got the Judgment, Eight of Cups. There's definitely someone walking away from something. And also with Ace of Daggers, it's like cutting ties, cutting loose, um, cutting out. What do we have here? Seven of Cups, you have the other options. It might have something to do with the Nine of Wands, too, coming in. It's like, ooh. Well, I mean, this is getting pretty exciting. Maybe that's it. You just felt like things were not going anywhere. It wasn't enough. That's like with the Four of Cups, presently feeling like, okay, I'm kind of bored. Yeah, new beginning, bored. Okay, let's get another one here. Let's see. Ooh. What is actually the challenge with all this? What is the challenge that you're facing? Queen of Cups. Now, this could be that your, your challenge is that there could be for some I feel like this is a mother but um that is coming in between something but this could be some loving nurturing caring energy this could be your energy or someone you're dealing with or that is a challenge to page of pentacles you're getting an offer here Taurus Virgo Capricorn three of cups the challenge is that you, oh god I think you're getting asked out here and you're not sure if you take this offer or not we have the Five of Pentacles. It almost feels like you'll feel bad to leave someone out in the cold here. But you're not feeling happy. Okay, let's see what we get on the Queen of Cups. The Star. Hmm. I almost feel like someone feels very comforting here, but it's not. Oh my God. The, your intuition might be telling you to do something different. We have here the Toothbrush. I don't know, the toothbrush. <laughs> okay, you might be needing to brush something away. You might be trying to clean something here. Or this person's coming. This person might be coming in to clean things up. They might be coming in very polished too, maybe. Okay, let's get the Queen of Cups. And the Page of Pentacles. Okay, let's clarify. Why do we have the Queen of Cups here? Why is the Queen of Cups here? The Six of Cups. Okay, this is the challenge. This is someone from the past. Now, for some of you, this could be a person that might be new. 
coming in that is challenging that maybe they want and you feel in this connection with them that's very strong you feel intuitively you know that something there's something strong here now for some of you it is past some of you it's brand new but there could be a past life connection that's why you're feeling the six of cups because the six of cups could just it could be referring to some connection from the past So is this is this is healing. This energy feels healing. The Queen of Cups is very healing. So either you know you might feel healing towards each other. There's a very strong healing connection here, especially being the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is nurturing, caring, very intuitive. And then with the Six of Cups, that's a very healing energy. There's memories. might have something to do with feeling comfortable with this person like the, your inner child it feels comfortable it's like i feel very strong comfort somehow whether this person is new or a past person now what about this page of pentacles we have the hangman okay this person here doesn't move very quick does do they so this offer am i even waiting a long time for this offer but it seems like the challenge is that this person took so long, too. Like, if it took so long, why should you even give them the time of day? If you've been waiting for this past person, you might have been wanting them to come towards you, and they haven't been coming. So you're like, well, should I wait anymore? What's that? You know, what's that all about? Why did it take so long? This is, maybe they had a change in perspective. Maybe they see things differently. Maybe they're the ones who had to really get the strength to come towards you. Or maybe the hangman's here to tell you to take another look at something. Take a, take a look at it in a different angle. Um, a, a different way here. Brush something off, maybe. Let's see, why is the three of cups here? Ten of Bones, wow. So this is like a burden here with the Ten of Bones. This is responsibility. The weight is heavy about at when not to go out with this person, it seems like. You're not sure. You know, you don't want, maybe with this connection, if this is a past person that you knew, maybe you did all the work and say, do I want this again? Do I want to put up with this again? No, unless they changed, but they haven't changed. You're not going to do everything. You're not going to take everything on yourself. But this also says with the 10 of bones, like with the 10 of wands, 10 is endings. So this is also saying to you, this is, this is ending. This is, the cycle has ended. It might be worth it just to go out and see because you are getting a different perspective on whether or not you should give this person a chance. And that's, you know, for some of you. And also, it could be someone new. You're saying, oh, I've, I've been through too much with other people. And maybe you have been sort of like shying away from dating. And you're saying, but you know, I feel this pull to this person is very strong. What do we have here? We have the magician. You are manifesting this. So you're bringing this in. You're manifesting this, this into your life here. Okay, let's see about the outcome then. <clears throat> what is a possible outcome for you guys? We have the Knight of Swords. Okay, this is definitely I can do it attitude. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. And we have the Page of Swords. So almost, I think this person maybe took a long time to come in because they had to get the guts to do it. They've been watching you. They've been spying on you. And now, but the Six of Cups is what is um, was bringing them in here. They want this connection. They want to bring this back in. Okay, we have here, and look, the Knight of Wands. A lot of passion, a lot of desire. Same Knight of Wands. This, this could be any sign. We're talking about the energy of these cards. It could be any sign, any um, female, male. Let's see. Let's get something for the Knight of Swords. 
We have, oh, look at that. They're seeing something here. They're seeing things in a whole new perspective. They're seeing things differently. So they're coming in full force now. They have this I can do it attitude because they've been watching, spying, maybe gathering information. Um, we have here, might want to take you dancing. They might have been tiptoeing around stuff too with the ballerina slippers. Okay, Page of Swords. Again, these are Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but it could be anyone. And then we have the Six of Cups. This is reflecting on the past. We got the Six of Cups here twice here. So this is very strong in this connection here. A very strong memories in, um, let's see. We have music here too. Look at this. Oh no, I thought this was music. This is Saw. Okay, the Saw cuts both ways. Almost feels like this Knight of Wands is seeing um, it got eight swords here, so they're really in their head about this. But I almost feel like this this saw that has two blades here. They're they're saying, okay, if I come towards this Aquarius, they might not want to be bothered with me. But if I don't come towards them, I'll never know if it could have been possible. So that's why I'm feeling the the sword is cutting both ways here. So we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, so let's clarify here about this knight of swords this knight of swords is like nothing can stop the knight of swords they're seeing things totally different now they got their glasses on and we have the terror of daggers so this would be the um page of swords again they've been watching you for quite a while i think or they've been you know, looking into something here. Terror of daggers. Wow. We have here a little girl. Okay, we have a little girl here. I think it's a little girl. Or oh, it's a girl. Um, might have something to do with a child. Maybe a, a girl, a daughter. Um, curiosity is with the um, terror of daggers. It's, um, they're like, they feel like when they think about you, they burst with ideas. They want to rekindle something here. And it's also, um, you know, they, I think they, they write a lot about you or they they journal or they, they put notes. And um, there is this thirst to know about you. They, they're very curious because you have the page of swords and the terror daggers. Let me put another page of swords here. They're very much interested in seeing what's going on with you. They want to know. They don't know. So, and now you put this with this Knight of Swords. So this is this ambitious, this curiosity is enough to drive them crazy. To have to, They have to come to you. They have to. Okay, so now, what about the Page of Swords here? The Terror of the Crystals. Okay. So now we have the Page of Pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Wow. And this is all this one person's energy. So, with the Terror of Crystals, hmm, this is, um, they're, um, developing something here they're i don't know new desires or they're trying to manifest this with you I, it feels like they're i don't know i feel like someone's like revving up their engine or something like that i'm getting that sound like it's like they're this person is like trying to psych themselves up to come towards you with an offer here Something's shifting with this person. Okay, now, what about this Six of Cups? The Massacre of Cups. So this is the King of Cups. Yeah, this person has a lot of love for you. All right, so this is, um, maybe it took a while to get in balance. This is saying that someone is emotionally stable. So they're, um, they're mastering their emotions. They're trying to get gather things together here because I, I think this person can't get away from this.
They're they're in there. They they have so much love here. Okay, we have here. A ch something has changed or shifted in this person. Why oh, didn't put a crystal on this? Let me put one on there. Ah, this this person's feeling divinely guided, and now they feel a shift, a change, something that they have to do. They have to change this. I think they have to make a, a effort here. Now we have the three of daggers. Ooh, there's a lot of pain and suffering. Through if you this is a past connection, I think you both felt a lot of pain and suffering with this connection. So they want to come in and try to fix this. Okay, let's see what the word is. What about this King of Cups? What's going on with this King of Cups? We started with the King of Cups and we have the King of Cups here. That's interesting. We have memories, likely intruder. Okay, so it feels like this person has very strong memories of you and maybe someone intruded in this connection. Now what about the Queen of Pentacles? Confess, spying, gift. So someone's going to confess they're spying on you and they might come in with a gift. What about the Queen of Wands? We have here love, desire, money. Okay, let me get something on the money. Okay, someone's winning money. Okay, so someone might be winning money somehow here. So the, they desire love and now they're winning money. Okay. What about this Knight of Wands here on the bottom? We have present, expect, accuse. So maybe in the present someone's going to expect to be accused of something. That's why we have this probably the two blades here. They know they're going to come forward. They have to face the music. That's why we have the probably the Knight of Wands. They have to face the music. So they're they might get caught, but they have to do it. Person could be in the band too. What about a knight of swords? Ooh, a tower. Confused. Soulmate. Okay, this person might come to the realization that you guys are soulmates. It's probably confused them. But they can't get away from this. That's the whole thing. They can't get away. But what about did I put a Yeah, there is a charm on there. Okay. What about this page of swords? We have married family thoughts. Okay, so maybe this person is thinking about they want to get married to you. They want to have a family. That's what they're thinking. Okay, what about this? Or maybe some of them are married and they have a family. Okay, let's see. We have this page of swords. Mystery. Third party. Shock. Ooh. Okay, so there might be something that you're going to find out. There might be some kind of mystery here. Could be a third party involved. I mean, third party could be family. Um, it's, you know, it could be anything. It could be anything outside of this connection. Could have um, did something. Aries and Scorpio energy with the tower. You got two towers here. There's a lot of shocking things coming uh, forward, I think, coming out. So, um, and a third party could be anything outside of the connection. It could be someone's always working it could be someone addicted to something it could be friends it could be family it could be a lover but it could be anything outside the connection so let's see we have eventually this is a page of Pentacles. unknown the end okay so in the page of pentacles something eventually maybe that something you don't know about this person might be put into an end in order to come towards you now what about this king of cups we have committed want insult okay so someone wants something they might say something you might be you might feel like it's an, you're insulted by it but it feels like they want to be in a commitment now it's interesting how we have the king of cups and the queen of cups and we have the king of cups here twice so i feel there's a lot of love between you and this person or there will be if it's someone new let's see we have money karma married Okay, I wonder if someone married someone for money and now they're getting karma. Let me get a clarifier on the money. Someone writing a check? Someone might have wrote someone a check? Hey, what about the page of pentacles? Okay, so there's going to be a phone call 
finish talk. Okay. So maybe you guys never finished discussing something. So maybe someone wants to call you and say, hey, let's, we got to finish this up. We, there's something we need to discuss. Or maybe you're going to have someone wants to contact. Now, someone could contact you also by any means. It could be coming to your house, your work. It could be a text. It could be a phone call. It could be an email. Uh, but we'll just say that someone's trying to contact you because they want to have a talk. So eventually they want to get together with you and talk and discuss things. Okay, and you might end up finishing this, this connection if it's something from the past. Okay, so now let's see what signs we'll be dealing with. What are the signs here for you guys? What are the signs? Let's see if we're Aquarius. Cancer. Gemini. Sagittarius. Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Cancer, Gemini, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. Now we'll do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have T, G, A, S. Ooh, we have gas. <laughs> Someone has gas. <laughs> N. Y. S. D. P. B. S. Okay, so letters we have for you here. T. G. A. S. N. Y. S. D. P. B. S. Now, let's see what names we have. What are the names? Let's see what we have here. We have here Michelle, Carleen, C A R L E E N, Gabriel, Ariella. A R I E L L A, Admin, A H M E D, Nancy, Walter, Chastity, C H A S S I D Y, Jen, J E N, Barry, how many do I have here? Oh, I just need one more. Short, just one. Let's see. We have here. Vinay, V-I-N-A-Y. Okay, so those are names. Now remember, guys, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements, your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more on one of your other placements. Um, also, with that, um, if it... Yeah, and it also might give that missing link, that missing piece, the part of the puzzle that makes everything click together. Also, at the end of each one of these readings, I always give you the link to the previous reading. Now, the previous reading was the general readings for October 2023. So, if you want to um, just click on that little link, it'll take you there. And if not, I hope to see you on the next reading. But I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, your super thanks. I appreciate it all. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.